welcome. And a prime evening to all of you. I'm Thunderbird Prime, and tonight we're continuing my art training arc. We're just going to spend the entire stream just drawing arms. Just hyper-focusing on arms. <laughs> you, you think as a common writer themed VTuber, I'd focus on the legs first. <laughs> nah, subversion of expectations and all that, right? <laughs> Anyways, we should probably increase the canvas size yet again. I don't know. 4,000 by 4,000? Why not? Let's just go crazy. And if, well, we could just erase some things we don't need either. Like this. We don't really need this. We started that as like a frame of reference. And occasionally I'll be switching between windows. Seeing, hmm. I'm, I'm just looking at mini tutorials I find on Twitter like okay L like this one like this was pretty much just drawn right from a tutorial all right I get the basic gist and then I find some other things like how to draw arms when I type that in Google how to draw arms it's like the first video result narrated tutorial by Robert Marzullo I probably butchered his name and I apologize for that but you know it is what it is we learn to draw definitely drawing arms is a hard thing especially if you want to draw like even like moderately muscular dudes which is appropriate for when you're drawing heroes, because <laughs> you don't see scrawny heroes, or at least not a lot. Heroes are usually expected to be muscular. Now let's see if I can like... I'm trying to draw the image, it's like the one down here. So I try to like reverse it in my head, see if I can like rotate objects in my mind because I need to do that if I want to be able to draw well all right so that's like the shoulder and if we want to go down here like that all right now we So now I like the bicep, it's like the muscle protrudes more on the inner arm, the inside of the arm, as opposed to like the outside and the back. So that's something I definitely need to keep in mind. Kind of draw like, like the video did say it was like, kind of imagine it as like a mini football, which is, well, I suppose it's apt. Considering, you know, the old Super Bowl happened like a few days ago. I don't really care much for football. I, I don't have a, a horse in that race, so to speak. I just know about it because it's always on TV. At work. Okay, let's, let's try to break these shapes down. Maybe I'm getting too presumptuous here. I'm trying to draw in reverse. This part definitely looks wonky. Alright, let's... How about we just start a new layer? And then hide this. Alright, hmm. 
what if we bring up this image again? In the back, Mr. Mr. Old Lion Senki here. I try to apply the shapes that we learned from the quick video tutorial. Alright. Something like this. Imagine the and then it goes over like this. Hmm. No, back it up, back it up. Maybe I drew this shoulder part a little too big, but you know. And again, big shoulders do look good. Footballish shape there. I say footballish shape, but like that looks like a deflated football, if anything. And then like that. So the circle goes like that. Yeah, that looks better than last time. Oh yeah, who who got their discount chocolate today? Just wondering. Me, I didn't. I, my schedule is packed enough as it is. I spent the morning doing the usual exercise and then doing my dailies in Genshin. And then, ow, getting ready for work. Hello, Dark Gold. I am just getting used to drawing arms. We're going to be doing nothing but arms today. <laughs> and I've been noting, I've just been drawing the left arm. <laughs> and only the left arm. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. It's just <laughs> eventually I will have to like do the right arm too, but you know. Maybe the reason I'm drawing the left arm so much is because I myself am left-handed. So there might there might be some bias there. Just maybe. But uh, yeah, I hope everyone managed to get some discount chocolate today. And if you did, don't worry about it. Lefty squad stand up, hell yeah! You know that, you know that episode of The Simpsons where Ned Flanders quits his job and opens up the Leftorium. You know that. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that kind of resonated with me. It's like, wow, I feel seen. Of course, I, I would feel more seen if I. Like, well, let's not go into that. Let's, let's keep practicing the arms. Okay, first we do the basic, the basic tubes, and then we muscleize the tubes. <laughs> All right, so we want this. Hmm. Yeah, we want this kind of shoulder pad thing. I have no other way to describe other than like a shoulder pad. Like you would see if I put on the Common Rider O's costume. I will probably wear that again at anime conventions in the future that I'm going to maybe this year? Who knows? I'm still waiting for tickets to go on sale for some of these anime conventions. And then I have to realize, hmm, if they're not within driving distance, I'm probably going to have to book a flight. <laughs> oh boy, that's going to be fun.
And by fun, I mean, hmm, maybe not so much fun. Maybe it's going to be kind of stressful. Because, you know, you, you got to book the flight. You got to show up the airport on time. You got to clear security. You got to declare stuff if you're going international. Even if the country you're going to is in the same continent, it's literally right there. It's literally across an imaginary line. What the hell? <laughs> All right. You know what, baby? Yeah. And then. And then, of course, I have to, like, pack up my costume in question and do any touch-ups and fixes that might be needed to do, because I know some things were falling apart. Some things were indeed falling apart by the time I got back from Anime NYC. I had fun at Anime NYC. Well, that goes without saying. If I did not have fun, I would have probably talked about it on Twitter. It's like, yeah, this anime con sucked ass. <laughs> it did not. Don't worry about it. The only thing that sucked ass was waiting outside in the in the cold weather, Friday afternoonish. Because you know, downtown New York City. With all those tall buildings and skyscrapers makes for a very effective wind tunnel and by effective wind tunnel I mean I was figuratively freezing my ass off I was almost literally freezing my ass off thankfully it didn't get to that point imagine if it did though oh boy that would make for an interesting story, I suppose. Alright. So. And of course, the left hand goes like this. But yeah, I plan on going to at least two anime cons this year. One will be a repeat, the other will be a new one. And the second one I can say I will probably not need my passport to get to. Thank goodness. I mean, it's not like my passport expired or anything. No. Don't worry about that. It didn't. I'm just saying. It's one less thing I have to worry about. But uh, anyways, let's continue drawing the arms. Let's con let's draw more arms. Let's get Let's lift those arms up. Alright. You know, I, I did say I should get to the, like the right arm. So. I should probably actually put my money where my mouth is. Alright. Alright. Do like the little conveyor belt thing. Then, 
like this. And then, hmm. Sure. <laughs> we'll pretend that's a hand. All right. So we, obviously we want to go like above the actual skeletal structure, I suppose you can call it. All right. Yep. Start with that shoulder pad thingy. muscle, the big bicep part, we'll have to go, let's see, gotta remember, the arm is turned inwards, no, that, that's not how it goes, maybe I do need to draw the football thing again, to like, as a frame of reference. Maybe that's a little too big. Yeah, that's a little, that's a bit excessive. Hmm. So arm. That also seems a bit excessive. Hmm. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Let's let's start back down here instead. We go like I suppose we go like this. And then it tapers down. I know near the wrist it can get it gets skinnier. big problem I'm thinking about in terms of like common Rider cosplay in the future is uh, the cons I'm planning to go to this year are they're summer cons so they're not gonna be very comfortable I, I'm not gonna be spending a lot of time outside let me just say that also hi stray welcome to the training arc where I'm trying to get accustomed to drawing arms so I'm just drawing arms over and over and over again. And over 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 again. Just trying to get the shape right and uh, that doesn't look right. But uh, maybe I'm dwelling on this too much. That looks like a really jacked arm. Maybe a little too jacked, but who cares? Then we get erasing this. Let's maybe tone it down just a bit. Get it? Tone? <laughs> I feel like something's wrong here, but uh, that's why we're learning. You rated the wrong Thunderbird Prime? Oh no. 
Why is there another one in the first place? I don't know! I wish I knew. I just want to talk to them. It's like, yo, dude. Why are you stealing my brand? Well, don't worry about it too much, Stray. Believe it or not, you're not the first one to raid into the wrong Thunderbird Prime. And I have a feeling you're not going to be the last one either. Anyways, I am still practicing how to draw arms. Learning how to draw is hard. Like, learning how to draw consistently well is hard. I mean, doing anything consistently well is hard. And that's, uh, I guess that's why we keep practicing, because if we don't practice, we're, we're never going to get any better. Alright, let's try another thing. Then hmm. Oh yeah, that means if you Oh <laughs> I, I switched over to the tab because I was watching you stray. It's like, oops. <laughs> and then I see your message. I rated the wrong channel. <laughs> Let's draw on Friday at around this time, maybe half an hour early. So that would be... Well, that'd be 11 then. I think I could manage that. That means I have to get a lot of work done during the actual Friday. So my Friday night is cleared. I can do it con with a clear conscience because I have a lot of deadlines to focus on. But, uh, you know, they're for personal projects. Which just means I have to go into overdrive during the day. So, uh, long s to make a long answer short, yes, sure, let's, let's draw Friday. I just find it funny you still rated the wrong channel. <laughs> Is this channel even- Zero followers! What the hell? <laughs> I still think that's kind of funny. No, fr this Friday is good. It's just, I am a vis very busy man, but I can always make time for you, Stray. This Friday is good. It's like... Alright, let's, let, let's get back to drawing and try to forget the fact that Stray ra raided into the wrong channel. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? I'm gonna keep remembering that. That's, that's, that shit's funny. <laughs> Let's try to let's try to keep reincorporating the lessons we learned here. So before we do this, hmm. all right. So mm, mm, mm. let's do that weird like what was it? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. It's like this irregular hexagon shape. Try to think it in a 3D shape. Man. Man, rotating shapes in your head is hard. Then again, drawing in general is hard. Anyone who says differently is lying through their goddamn teeth or has never drawn before. Alright. 
so hmm. so I'll, muscle part will be like here I think this irregular football shape all right just add definition so it doesn't look like a scrawny arm because most heroes are not scrawny just saying there we go All right, good night, Stray, and <laughs> hopefully you can raid the right channel next time. I'm sorry, I'm never going to let that go. <laughs> it's just too funny. It's also kind of concerning. Who who out there is stealing my brand? Who's, the, who's trying to steal my thunder? Pun totally intended. Who the hell dares to encroach upon my brand, my territory? Like, how dare? Alright. Alright. So, to, we gotta cl close off this, round it out, because I don't think shoulders look like it in real life. They're, they're broader, they're, they're more rounded out. They're not complete blocks, so to speak. I mean, the whole shape. I mean, men in general tend to be more blocky in terms of shapes. At least when I'm trying to draw them. Let's see. Right, and then so the muscle can be like that. I mean that's pretty good, all things considered. Just gotta learn how to do like definition and what is going on with that elbow? Something looks wrong with that elbow. Uh, hmm. I suppose we go like this. Yeah, something does look wrong with that elbow. Maybe I'm just, I'm just not draw, used to drawing elbows, or at least more defined elbows. Uh, this should go out more. All right, and then. Right. That looks... Oh my god, I realized, like, oh my god, I had so much room left. I was just zoomed in really, really closely. Oops. Alright. Oh yeah, stream elements bot finally kicked in, huh? Yes, we need to draw armed arms, more arms. Maybe when we draw enough arms, maybe we can like put it to like practical use. Like for example, just drawing myself.
Because, man, I haven't drawn myself in a long time. Maybe we should, like, rectify that. It's like, just gotta pull up my own reference here. Alright, so, yeah, that's what I look like. <laughs> Interesting, yes. <laughs> the floor is made out of floor. Alright, hmm. How about we do, like... I'm trying to think of, like, a pose I would do. Hmm. A kind of, like, a sassy pointing pose. I mean, I suppose we can do that. Okay, let's see. Pointing at Let's see here You know what, now that I think about it, the <laughs> pointing, there's going to be a lot of foreshortening and uh, that, that feels like a really advanced technique, but uh, fuck it, we ball. It's like, I'm just going to say, fuck it, we ball. Okay, let's see, okay. Um, all right. Sure. There's the head. There's the neck. Alright. And then, oh god. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of foreshortening. Alright, so the hand kind of goes like, uh... Oh god, yeah, there's a lot of foreshortening here. I'm using a reference image as, yeah. Yeah, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a challenge, but, uh, I'm not one to step down from a challenge. Also, welcome back, Dark Gold. It's like, <laughs> you know one of my phrases is, I ain't no coward. <laughs> I say that in alarmingly, with alarming frequency. I know one day it's gonna come back and bite me in the ass, but for now, we ball. It's like, fuck it, I ain't no coward, we ball. <laughs> and, you know, after all, why not? Why, sh why shouldn't I challenge myself when it comes to art? Why shouldn't I force myself out of my comfort zone, which is a trick question because I don't have a comfort zone. I'm always uncomfortable. Which is why I get annoyed when people tell me to get out of my comfort zone. It's like, there is no comfort zone to get out of. I'm always uncomfortable. I can already tell I'm doing something wrong here, but we're also focusing, we're also, the inf the purpose of getting better at art is also getting faster at art too. Hopefully speed will come naturally, but until then, we'll take our time. Ish. I don't want to take like two months just to do line art. That doesn't seem like the ideal situation. Anyways. We draw the details. It's like, man, 
My helmet has a lot of details. I mean, it's expected. Kamen Rider helmets typically do have a lot of detail. Oh yeah, I have, th I have these like metallic guards on like my fingers and joints on my digits. That's right, okay, wow. <laughs> That's gonna be fun, and by fun I mean I probably made more work for myself, oh well. And uh, hmm. I should like... Okay, so arm, shoulder starts here, and then... And then, wow, that, that, that is... That is big foreshortening. At least I think that's the proper term. I don't know. I am not an art student. It's like, yeah, I did art in school as like one of my electives in high school. All right. May, oh wait, I guess the arm practice can be over here on the other arm. It's like, oh yeah, I have two arms. <laughs> it's like, I completely forgot about that. <laughs> All right, so. Hmm. So we do this. 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 We do that. Doing a little, doing a real sassy point here. And uh, we try to take the lessons we learned, like literally right now, and apply it to these drawings. forget the elbow part my on my suit too that's kind of important but yeah my visor a mess oops no 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 we're not ending we're not ending I pressed the wrong key I meant to press E for the eraser then I switch E for ending screen. I'm like, no, no, we're not ending. <laughs> we are just drawing a lot of things. All right, so yeah. Yeah, these neck things. These talons. These talons literally clawing around my neck. It's important to draw these. Then we go like that. Oh yeah, the Genshin 3.5 special announcement is having Friday morning. I'm probably going to be over on a friend's channel covering that. And then once that stream is over, I'll be like, alright, time to get to exercising and do whatever it is I need to do this Friday. And get as much work done as I much. Man, being a real creative type. 
can be overwhelming at times in terms of like your schedule's packed that overwhelming sense of guilt if you don't do anything productive <laughs> Kinda like a football. I don't think the, the back of the arm is that. It's hard to say. Feels like the back of the arm should be like a straight line ish. Ish, I say. Something like that. All right, let's work on this hand, I suppose. Okay, zoom in on the hand. What details do I need? Oh my God, I need a lot of details. <laughs> okay, good news. All the metallic parts, all the metallic guards are like on the outside of the hand, so... Except for like the tips of the fingers. Therefore... I need to like... Okay, so it's like... So like, yeah, we have... We have like a fingertip guard here. And then, oh god, this is, this is where the fun begins, I suppose. Let's draw the basic hand shape first. And then, like, we'll draw the fingers in later. And then, after we draw the fingers, we can do the little metallic finger guards. It's like, it's like why do I have... Oh yeah, because I don't want to freaking hurt myself punching out monsters. That's right. I say as if I had any choice in the matter of how the suit was designed. Spoiler alert, I did not. I just kind of put on the belt, went henshin, and then whatever popped out, popped out. And I'm like, okay, fuck it, we ball. I sure am saying that a lot, especially this stream. Like I said, I don't even play the sports ball. I feel like it's more like basketball associated. The term fuck it we ball. It seems like a very basketball thing to say. To Oh yeah, spoiler alert, uh, my shoulders aren't exposed like that. I, ju I just put my shoulders there as like a reference. But uh, yeah, She's probably drawing the armor parts. Don't forget about that. Just as a reference. Actually, that might be going a little too far, the lines. I mean, no, I'm not, I don't mean I'm taking drawing too far. I mean, the lines are going too far. Just to clarify.
actually. They should probably go up more since the shoulder is raised up. So therefore the the shoulder parts that are reminiscent of wings should also be pointing up. Hmm. All right, maybe point it up. No, not that much. But, you know, Something like that. Maybe, maybe it's protruding out too much, but you get, you get the idea. It's like I was just trying to draw arms, but suddenly this turned into an exercise in like perspective and foreshortening as well. I never meant it to be like this. It just kind of spiraled out of control. But as, as I keep saying, fuck it, we ball. So yeah, maybe this arm. Oh, I need to select. I need to select this. Alright. Uh, duh, 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 duh. How do I... Yeah, rope now. That's not the kind of rotate I want to do. Uh, scale rotate, there we go. That's better. Now his hand is actually on his hip. You know, like the intention was in the first place. <laughs> and then, oh God. It's like, yeah, I can see why people don't draw me often because this shit's complicated. <laughs> All right. And the belt goes here. We'll just we'll just do a little. We we'll get rid of all these lines first, and then, bam! The power of editing. then this is where things get complicated. This is where we cut things off. It's like, no, this is arm day. Leg day will come later. Never skip leg day. We are not skipping leg day. We are merely postponing it. Like one day we'll get back to this. Like, this is a pretty good arm, all things considered. Now I just gotta draw the deets. All the shoulder deets over here. Like, oh god. This is also an exercise in perspective. Alright. Like that. I guess I should draw like kind of like an overarching dome for the shoulder parts. And then three seconds later I say fuck it. <laughs> Go back to the elbow over here. Cause that seems a lot less intimidating. And then we erase all these unnecessary lines because 
they're a distraction. And then we work out the elbow parts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Aha. See, when when you use enough fuck it we balls, eventually it'll work out. I just hope I last that long next time. Of things we should not be doing there. Hmm. Maybe this part should be like further up here. And then these parts can go over here. Yeah, that looks better proportioned and more aligned to the elbow. Yeah, that makes sense. Well, it makes sense in my head. Will it transfer well to the canvas? That's always the eternal struggle. And the answer is... Mostly yes. It does transfer at least somewhat well to the canvas. Back to the hand and what the hell I was doing with the hand. All right, so, um, hmm. Ow, 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 ow. Where was the thing? Oh, it was over here, okay. Eh, uh, okay. Focus, all right. It's like, what was I doing with the hands? All right. So, I want to say the metal parts go like that. Protecting the digits and so on and so forth. There's a lot of, there's quite a lot of unnecessary lines that I need to clean up so I don't confuse the hell out of myself. It's like, what the hell is that line for? What the hell is that line for? What the hell is that line for? Oh, it's for nothing. And I just waste a lot of time. Okay, so... This line goes here, that's the inner part of the finger. All right. All right. So we got the metal parts here, and uh, they cover the outside thumb. This. All right. This part. Yes. Maybe that's too much of a protrusion. Man, arms. They're real tricky, aren't they? Yes, they are. That, and that's exactly why I'm practicing drawing them, because they're hard to draw. 
when you really try to do it well, they're hard to draw. I mean, sure, you can draw like scrawny arms and call it a day. And that'll work most of the time, but it's not going to work for things I want to do. Alright, so... Something like that. that. That's pretty good. I just I just searched for a picture of pointing at viewer on Dan Baru and just clicked one of the top first results. I'm like, all right, that's pretty good. I suppose I can save that too. <laughs> oh yeah, I need to save this picture that. Rainy J drew for me. Save. Uh, Arts Thunderbird. Go to fan art folder and save it there. And presto, get back to get back to drawing. Alright, so let's keep drawing arms, shall we? It's like I tried to draw an arm at a different angle and it just spiraled out of control. <laughs> but on the bright side, I ended up drawing myself again, so I suppose that's a win-win situation. But enough of that, we should really get back to drawing arms. I keep saying that, but I should probably actually do it. Stop talking about doing it and do it. Hmm. Okay, so another arm pose. I'm trying to draw more arms in like a neutral position. All right, let's try drawing the right arm again. I've been doing a lot of left arms. How about, hmm, let's draw a more challenging one. Am I biting off more than I can chew? We'll find out. All right. This is going to be a doozy, I feel like. Where the shoulder starts down here. And the hand goes up there. Yeah, I feel like maybe I bit off more than I can chew, but fuck it, we ball. Alright. So. Good thing we can like rotate the canvas, right? Otherwise I'd be creaking my neck really badly and uh, we don't want that. Okay, so we'll just do a little line barely got yeah, indicating yes, this is the inside of the arm. And since this is a somewhat this is some arm with some muscle. That means it'll go beyond the the tiny 
and scrawny structure we have built initially. Alright. So. Da, 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 da. There we go, that that looks like a good start actually. The deflated football shape is actually starting to pay off dividends here. Ah oh, yes. Canvas rotation. I love it. It's like rotating the paper in real life. And then there we go. Yeah, that's all. That's a good-looking arm, actually. Holy shit! All that practice is starting to pay off, and I love it. That means we can start erasing some stuff like this. It'll start looking like a really good arm. We just gotta start drawing some like some definition. shoulder goes here then the neck muscle goes here and then we draw <laughs> that that head is way too low <laughs> all right look they're holding hands with this guy over here oh man that's cool all right actually I can rotate the canvas. I need to take advantage of that. I need to not forget that that's a thing. Also, um, maybe we should move this arm up first. Get back here. Oh shit, that means. Oh well, we can reconstruct it from memory. No big deal. Let's see. There are some things I need to. Change here. <laughs> yeah, I think I can see the mistake I'm making already. Because I was drawing it like as if it was like this perspective where it's like the standard up shoulder to like downward where I'm trying to do the reverse here where it's like a raised arm and that's why I had to like flatten out this part so it actually looked like that still. Okay, I, I think that arm turned out well, actually, all things considered. It looks pretty muscular, pretty strong. We just gotta keep doing it over and over and over and over and over again.
point. Oh yeah, I've mentioned like several times before in previous streams as like I watch other streams while I'm streaming because like I'm an absolute madman like that. So sometimes I'll just like tab out and check. Hmm. It's like, can you really call yourself a VTuber if you're not watching other VTubers? <laughs> Or maybe I'm the exception and not the rule. But we keep going, we keep going. I'll tab out, I'll check. All right, we raided into someone, all right. Time to, time to switch over to someone else who's on that I follow. And then rinse and repeat. Always repeat. And then, hmm, I'm trying to think of what, like what other arm poses I can do. You know, stuff that like at least kind of deviates from the norm, like the default arm pose. All right. Well. All right, well, we'll try something here. Try, try drawing like two arms at once. All right, so circle, and then circle for the shoulders, and then I'll just keep doing this exercise for myself. I don't know if that's too big or too small. Alright. I mean, the whole point is to, keep, to learn, right? I have to, like, unlearn my brain's habit of like telling me I have to get it perfect the first try. Because that was ingrained into me ever since I was a small child. And let me tell you, stuff from that far back, really hard to unlearn. But you gotta do it. Some of those things you just absolutely cannot keep in your system. All right, so. Kind of like that. I don't need to creak my neck. I can rotate. Behold the power of technology. Remember, chat, don't creak your neck when you're trying to draw. Rotate the canvas. Your neck will thank you later.
No, that doesn't look right. So we start the shoulder here. Go like that. Start with the kind of like the football curve. Ow, 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 ow! Who the hell's raiding me? Ganon Dwarf! Ganon Dwarf's raiding me! Welcome, raiders. I'm Thunderbird Prime, Master Hero VTuber. And tonight we're doing my art training arc. Indeed, I am now armed and dangerous. I appreciate that pun, because we're doing nothing but arm drawings tonight. Like, look at all the arms I've drawn. That's just like one layer. The other layer too, just for like a warm up. And then I went like absolute sicko mode with like doing arm practice and then like doing like perspective and things just kind of spiraled out of control. I am indeed well armed. Anyways, here's the shout out. And then the the Twitch shout out. Because the Twitch shout out gives you the follow button. But my shout out tells people what they were playing. Ah, you were playing Breath of the Wild. Apparently they announced things about Tears of the Kingdom in the last Nintendo Direct. I don't know. I don't watch Nintendo Direct. Mainly because like I'm at work when that happens. But I can see people reacting to it. I'm like, oh, that's nice. Anyways, uh... I don't know why I'm in so much trouble with song. Maybe because let's see. Hmm. All right. Well, let's see. I can zoom in. That's that would certainly help. arm goes up a bit then skinnies down near the wrist Something's wrong here. All right, so we start with the the basic. All right, let's try to We gotta incorporate those shapes that I learned to use. Also the hands. Wouldn't hurt to practice the hands. Even those are like those are like a big bear hands. got the shoulder part here.
No, that's too much. And by that, I mean too much... Muscle? Oh, so... Blech. My tablet's slipping. Good thing I caught it in the nick of time. Somewhat better. Hmm. Ow. All right, Lair Gandorf. Also, hello, Odin. I see that's your usual greeting, as always. Yeah, this elbow is bothering me. The underside of this arm is also bothering me. Yeah, what kind of person would just throw stuff at me? For shame. For absolute shame. I can't believe the audacity of some people. Hmm. I don't know, this arm just doesn't look right to me. Maybe it's the angle. I can't believe Dark Gold 120 would do that. It's like, wow, way, way to throw Dark Gold under the bus. Like, the absolute audacity. Ow, 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 ow! Title raid! Ophelia! Welcome, raiders! I'm Thunderbird Prime, masked hero VTuber. And I'm in the middle of my art training arc where I'm just drawing nothing but arms. Anyways, we have to give a shout out to Miss Ophelia Avalon. I know you were playing 999. Your keyboard wasn't working. Understandable. Have a good day. Ow. There we go. Yes, you were playing Zero Escape, 9 hours, 9 for... Yes, I know you were playing 999. I think I stopped by for just a smidge during work and just lurked a bit because my breaks are not that long. And also, uh, yeah. Brilliant light and great power that can split the world. Yeah, just let that play out. <laughs> Thanks, Diggy. Also, uh, we should do the Twitch shoutout. So everyone go follow Miss Ophelia Avalon. She she is the rigger for my live 2D brother, Jack Delane. So most definitely give her a follow. And oh my god, why are arms so hard to draw? Why am I having trouble when I'm trying to do like... Maybe you should like picture my own arm. Yeah, it is late. It's like 1230. Also, wow, why, why did StreamBot do that twice? Whatever. I'll allow it. Anyways, go, go get some sleep, Ophelia, and thank you for the raid. And, uh... Drawing arms is hard. Maybe it's the whole perspective. Maybe I should be like, okay. So, we got the shoulder part here. Yeah, I'm also- this whole training arc is also, like, training my brain to shut the ever-loving fuck up. 
and stop yelling at me because something doesn't look perfect the first try. That is probably the biggest hurdle I have to overcome in this art training arc. Like, holy shit. Hmm. Maybe I should, like... Alright, so shoulder here. Alright. And, uh, hmm. Shoulder muscle here. And then arm muscle here. And then line go all round muscle. And then, oh, back of arm muscle. That's the tricky one. That's the one I can't really get. All right. But then it all just looks comically large. But we'll, we'll, we'll brute force it. As we've been saying this entire night, fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we're gonna ball so hard tonight. We'll ball and ball and then we'll ball some more. In Baltimore. Uh, disclaimer, I don't actually even live in Baltimore. Yes. <laughs> I am like multi-classing in writing drawing, video editing. It's an absolute nightmare. <laughs> Why do I do this to myself? What kind of absolute sicko would try to improve themselves in so many multifaceted ways? Only the truly deranged would do that. It's me, I'm truly deranged. <laughs> Every line must be absolutely perfect. Sh shut the fuck up, brain. All right. Hmm. Let's see. What if I look at my own arm and kind of... All right, hold on. I am going to step in front of a mirror or something, BRB. No wonder I was getting it wrong. We gotta go backwards in time. The muscle's like... I mean, the shoulder part's right. But the muscle's like... Around here when I try to pose like that in the mirror. And then this line is relatively straight. So 
like, no wonder, no wonder it felt so wrong, because it was wrong. Alright, and then... Yes, I, I have I will be vain and check myself out. Wait, what do you mean until that art thing? What art thing? You guys are supposed to enter the fan art contest, not me. I wasn't drawing anything for my anniversary, I'm just doing a bunch of events. You guys have until like March 10th. Like, I can look up the fan art contest rules right now. Uh, two year, no, that's the wrong folder. Uh, that's also the wrong folder, what the hell? Stream layouts. Thumbnails, two year, two year anniversary. There we go. Deadline: March tenth, eleven fifty nine p.m. EST. That's the deadline for the fan art contest. All right. do the muscle definition here. See? See? Stream Elements bot is cut. It's got my back. See? Look, there's the link for the fan art contest and all the details. You can click on it. Go. It's like I'm holding up. I'm holding a fan art contest with prizes. Read the details below. The theme is recreating your favorite moments from Thunderbird streams. You can find the entire VOD archive on my YouTube channel. Both Check both the videos tab and the live tab, because I started on YouTube, then moved to Twitch. So things are kind of separated because of that. And you can pick between year one or year two. I know what I must draw, but I don't think I have the strength to draw. Yes! I am a burb, Mr. Yusuke Kiwami Orange. Yes, there is rewards. Literally right there in the front of the thumbnail if you click it. Skep prizes for the winner in each category. I will be giving away a 5,000 yen skeb for each winner in each category. I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking, Yusuke. Uh, work was better than it was the last couple of days. Which is always good. I'm... <laughs> I am shocked that my regulars in chat are just realizing that uh, there is monetary rewards for the fan art contest I'm holding. It's like, God damn it, guys. I guess I, I can tell who's been really paying attention. Skeb is like a Japanese commission site. Where you can like browse artists who are like taking like rapid fire commissions and then you type in what you want and then you give them the money and then hopefully they'll do it and if they don't they refund you the money like you, you've probably seen a lot of VTubers especially indie VTubers like get art from Skeb from various artists 
Also, uh, why the hell wasn't I signed in? Skeb, please. I'm trying to make a point here. But yeah, I can see like if I go to new requests of following clients, or like all the VTubers I'm following, and see like all the art they got. Like I can see that Captain Q got some art. And I can see Carmine did too, and I can see a lot of Ellie as well. And I see Ophelia too. I can see that Ophelia got art from Shihan Sarum. I mean, it's not like I care about monetary rewards. I was just gonna draw something to draw something. My favorite Thunderbird moment is when he couldn't kill the final boss in DMC. Which one? DMC 1? DMC 3? Because those are the ones that come to my mind that I actually, like, really struggle with. But I think it's, like, universally accepted that, like, the Mundus boss fight in DMC 1 is absolute dog shit. Oh, DMC 3! Oh, yeah, I can see DMC, yeah. Virgil 3! That was... That was one hell of a fight. And then I learned later that, uh... Western normal difficulty was actually Japanese hard difficulty. So that makes me feel just a little bit better. So that following that, Western hard would be Japanese very hard. And then Western very hard would just be an absolute monstrosity. Why would you draw me in a maid dress? It, from what stream? Was I in a maid dress? Remember, the, the theme is recreating your favorite moments from stream. And I don't ever recall wearing a maid dress. You guys couldn't even get me to order a butler uniform and wear that. I mean, there's your chance. If you donate to the two year anniversary donathon and get it to like 950, I will put on a butler uniform and take IRL photos. I mean, the link is right there. But yeah, Yusuke, if you want to enter the contest, you can totally take that moment from DMZ3 where I'm like having an epic duel with Virgil. <laughs> Give him a Yaksa sweep and add some cars racing. I mean, that did happen. I did play slot car racing in Yakuza 0. I did build a real estate empire in Yakuza 0. I did a lot of things in Yakuza 0. Some things that are just absolutely bananas. I mean, you can you can check out the VOD archive for like the actual precise moments of absolute buffoonery. Trust me, there are lots of moments of absolute buffoonery in Yakuza Zero. The entire franchise in general is like an absolute masterclass in tone management. I don't know how they pull it off so well, but they do. All right, so da, 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 da. and you gotta like specify like what category you're entering in, like because it's split between year one and year two, and then it's further split between like awesome, funny, heartwarming, collaboration, and lore related. Like if you read the rules and guidelines in that thread. You will know the details. Oh. Anyway, 
Anyways, I need to get... <laughs> I went off on like a major tangent. Mainly because I like talking with you guys. I like it when chat interacts. And I like it when lurkers lurk. In short, I love everyone in chat. Yes, I did start Kabuto. It was fun. That scene in episode 4 with the suspended rain, oh my god, masterclass. I love when they did that in Devil May Cry 3 and I love it when they do it in Kabuto. Alright. Yeah, that looks a lot better. And then... Yeah. Oh, you have a plan. Well, all according to Keikaku, I suppose. We'll see how many people actually enter the contest. I mean, it's literally free money on the table. I don't know. I don't see how anyone could like pass off the opportunity to enter this fan art contest. It's literally free money on the table. My girlfriend's first common rider was Kabuto. A lot of people I've met in the VTuber sphere also started with Kabuto. I think it was like, okay, so your girlfriend, uh, NJ Chef. Uh, oh my god, I'm on fire. I think maybe Kata as well. Yours was- yeah, you're- I don't know how you started with Decade. Considering Decade is like an anniversary series. That is truly baffling. Yeah, you went absolute hard sicko mode. I don't know how. I don't know why. Frankly, I don't know. I don't want to know why. I'm just absolutely floored by that fact that you started with decayed. The only thing more jarring would be like if you start with Zeo. That's like. That's literally just Decade 2. Electric Boogaloo. Oh, don't worry. We'll we'll start Deno after Kabuto, and then move on to Kiva, and then finally Decayed. He tickled every common right. I'm pretty sure that makes sense in context, but out of context, that just sounds silly. Just some subtle lines. All right, that that definitely looks better. Yeah, I I suppose I can like 
spend the last 10 minutes going over the fan art contest rules if everyone so desires. I mean, I feel like I'm all arted out for tonight. If I can just find the link again. Alright, so, like I said, my two-year anniversary is coming up March 12th, but I'll be celebrating March 11th because A, I'm working on March 12th, and B, March 12th is a Sunday, which means it's a common Rider Watch Along night. We can't we we can't move that away. So yeah. Use the hashtag two years of prime and or Post it in the Two Years of Prime channel in my Discord server. And like I said, the theme of the contest is recreating your favorite moments from Thunderbird streams. And like I said before, you can find all the VODs on my YouTube channel. And I will be dividing it up between year one and year two of YouTubing. So for reference, everything from my debut stream to uh, writing two more days goes into year one. And then everything from Yakuza 0 to the moon and back, and after that, falls into year two. Yes, thank you Stream Element Spot. Thank you for giving everyone the Twitter link to the rules and guidelines thread. So in each year, there will be five categories. The awesome category, which is awesome, amazing, or hype moments on stream, like finally completing the Pokedex in Pokemon Pinball. The funny category, funny moments on stream, like getting dealt 13 orphans and declaring ri declaring victory in Mahjong in an instant, and just cr absolutely crushing everyone else. Literally the shortest game of Mahjong I've ever seen in my life. Yes, getting C2 riding would be somewhere, it would be either awesome or funny. Uh, heartwarming, heartwarming moments on stream, like words of encouragement to a viewer, or doing a charity stream, or moments that proves that I am in fact a hero, like reviving Jack Delane from the dead during our Left 4 Dead 2 collab. But that also could fall into like the collab category, like favorite collaboration moments on stream, either on my channel or someone else's. This category is a little more forgiving because maybe I was on a collab on another channel so it's not on my VOD archive. But if I can like clearly remember what the collab was, then I'll allow it. And of course the last category, lore. Every everyone's favorite, lore. You want to recreate like your most memorable scene from <laughs> the lore so far? Check the lore videos. Uh, can we use a Raiden PNG or do we have to draw her as well? Um, all right, we're getting to the rules. So, rule number one, I need to be the focal point of the art. Other people slash NPCs included is fine, but I need to be the center of attention because <laughs> this fan art contest is about me. Me, 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 me. So, to answer your question, yeah, you should probably draw a Raiden. Show off your art skills. Uh, rule number two. So, all VODs are available on my YouTube channel, so use that as a reference. And like I said before, collab entries are more lenient in this regard. So, like I said, if I can remember the collab, it's all good. Uh, rule number three. Any of my forms is acceptable. So, the current Thunderbird Prime form is acceptable. Uh, let me just cycle through everyone. Let me see if I got the redeem up. 
da, 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 da. Please work. Please work. Please work. Brilliant light and great power that can split the world in two. There we go. Yes. So Thunderbird Prime works. Zack works. Uh, let's change back to show the other ones. Brilliant light and great power that can split the world in two. Uh, da, 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 da. Chimkin Nugget works. Brilliant light and great power that can split the world in two. Yes. Chimkin Nugget works. Now let's see if I can, like, just jump straight to the other one. Yes. Brilliant yes, it actually works. Great nice. power that can split the world in two. Wait. There we go. Jenny also works. Now let's go back. Go back to the original. Brilliant light and great power that can split the world in two. Yes, any of those four forms is fine. And rule number four, drawing me in cosplay is encouraged if the subject is appropriate. Like, if you're doing something Yakuza related, like drawing me as Kiryu or Majima would be highly encouraged. Or like that thing you were drawing, th that thing you mentioned before, where like I was fighting Virgil, like drawing me as Dante, also acceptable. And then you can post a, your submissions on Twitter with the hashtag two years of prime or more preferably in my discord server and now okay so multiple submissions are fine but only one submission per category can qualify to win so one for year one of awesome and one for year two of funny for example so let me clarify, that means a single submission cannot double dip into several categories. So every category you want to enter requires a unique submission. And winner in each category will receive a 5,000 yen skeb from an artist of their choice. Speaking of winners, it is possible for one person to win in multiple categories, provided they submit to each of those categories. That means they have the option to pool their winnings into a better, bigger skep, or keep them separate if that situation arises. And there will also be a People's Choice winner for both Year 1 and Year 2 that you guys can vote on, and I will set up that voting later. Uh, let's skeb is uh, referring to the website skeb.jp it's basically like a freelance commission site that is mainly Japanese based also maybe you should not open that link at work because there can be some pretty yabai stuff on the front page if you don't have not safe for work filter turned on. But yeah, those are pretty much the rules for my fan art contest. And it's been two hours. Listen, nice, not safe for work T-Bird stuff. I really don't expect it. I mean, come on. I'm a male VTuber. I'm just thankful for any fan art, really. But yeah, it's been two hours. I'm all arted out. Let's go find someone to raid. But before that... There's a link to all my socials, like the aforementioned 
YouTube VOD archive. Yeah, Skeb is... I guess you could say it is Japanese fiber. Ow. Also, there's a raid message. Who the hell is still on at this hour? Who can we raid this hour? Let's see. You know, let's go raid KB. They're streaming Pokemon, even though I don't play Pokemon anymore. I like the idea of Pokemon. Okay, so let's go raid KB and remember to stay prime. 